Greg Carley here, Creative Director at Catech Moon Studios. So what is uh, gesture control? Um, probably the best example that uh, most of us refer to is Minority Report. It was the uh, first science fiction movie that really kind of opened our eyes to um, what was possible. They presented it in a very realistic way that we all kind of felt was, was natural and a progression of where we're probably going to go from our um, you know, current computers into what the future probably holds. More recently, movies like uh, Iron Man and Pacific Rim are good examples of where we're seeing these interfaces really, you know, expanded way beyond what we saw in Minority Report. I mean, we, we love in the in the Pacific Rim where I mean they're just walking in a physical space and a, a big machine can actually follow, you know, those kinds of gestures. You know, of course, everybody wants to be Tony Stark. I mean, he's got amazing kind of HUD displays in his suit and whatever. But he's constantly interacting, he's expanding, he's closing down. These are all things that we want to do in the real world with the gesture controls that we're starting to build. There's basically four categories that this all falls into. The first being skeletal, the second being hand gestures, the third being you know, a physical wearable device um, for muscular, and the last being eyewear or visual. In terms of skeletal, Microsoft Connect is really the product that's owned that space. You know, it, it could do the, the, the facial recognition, it's got voice commands built into it, and all around, it's a pretty good product for you know, entering into this space. So the, uh, the second category we're going to talk about is hand gestures and the product in this space that's doing really well is the Leap Motion. And what we, what we really love about Leap Motion is, you know, it's the first one to really take a three-dimensional space. It could read the tips of your fingers, it knows the knuckles, it knows top to bottom, and it's 200 times more accurate than what, what Connect is offering. Um, as well as offering some of the other things like voice recognition, which is pretty important. The first wearable product I want to talk about is Muscular, and it's a product called Mayo. And uh, what we really love about this product is it's, it's an armband that tracks your natural movement, and then it combines with some gestures that allow you to really interact with this anytime, anywhere that you want to. And that's really what makes it unique. So the last uh, category I want to talk about is Visual. And um, I think a lot of people are familiar with uh, Google Glasses is a product that's kind of in this space, but the one that, that really I think has gotten most of us really excited this year is the product from Meta called Space Glasses because this is really sort of taking that idea that, that Google product brought us and, and creates this augmented reality that you can interact with in front of you to where it's really truly an immersive space that's unlike anything that we've seen up to this point. So the last thing that I'll say about Gesture is we know it's going to be huge, it's here to stay, and um, you know it, it definitely is going to allow us to do a lot of amazing things. But you know, remember, at the end of the day, it's another tool in our toolbox to create amazing user experiences.